What's up everybody? Today we are talking about overcoming anger. Now I know we have all seen and talked to that one individual that is just super pissed off. They're drilling you with questions and you're trying to fight with them and explain, hey, I'm not a scam artist, I'm here to help, blah, 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 and they're just not having it. They ruin your day, they're pissed off and they hang up on you. No one wants to have that conversation and nobody wants to talk about angry people, but if we knew how to take that angry person and turn it into a productive conversation and was able to calm them down and actually communicate with them effectively, then we could have a possible opportunity on our hands and you know how much we love opportunities. So let's get right into it about overcoming these angry individuals. What is step number one? So step number one is acknowledge their issue. If they're angry, they have a problem. They have an issue with something. Oh my gosh, why are you guys calling me? What's the issue? They're getting tons of phone calls. And so how you acknowledge something is you begin your sentence with, it sounds like, or I'm hearing, or it looks like, you, you start it with a, hey, I'm acknowledging what's going on. It sounds like you get a lot of phone calls, Mr. Seller. And then that's identifying their problem and you're the first individual who actually understood what they are and what they're going through. And so they're gonna rant to you a little bit more and be like, yeah, I'm getting tons of phone calls, this is crazy. That leads into step number two, extreme ownership. Take ownership of the situation. You totally just called them and ruined their day and added to their problem of a billion phone calls a day, right? So, hey, I'm so sorry, I did not mean to offend you. You know, I, I was having some issues with my phone if you called them multiple times that day. You know, just acknowledge and totally take blame for it and then redirect them, right? So this is just like handling objections. You want to acknowledge the situation and redirect them to take control of the conversation so that you're not in a position to be attacked anymore. So step number one, acknowledge. It sounds like you're getting a lot of phone calls. Yeah, people just keep blowing me up about this thing. I don't even know what they want to do. Like, I don't even want to sell my property. Holy cow, I am so sorry. I, I, I must be adding to the problem. I, you know, I totally get it if you're not interested in selling the property. Versus them throwing out the issue, hey, I, don't, I don't get so many calls, who the hell are you people? Well, we're direct home buyers and you know, we wanna see if we wanna sell your, sell your property. Like, well, no, screw up, I don't wanna sell my property, leave me alone, click, right? Like, you're not getting anywhere with that. So practice the acknowledgement of the anger and of the source of the issue. And, oh my God, who is this? Sounds like you get a lot of calls. Acknowledging the issue. You can move on to taking extreme ownership because they're gonna vent. You know, yes, I get a lot of calls. I'm tired of this. Who are you? Shit, I'm so sorry to add to the number of phone calls. I totally get I'm interrupting your day, but I, I guess you don't want to sell your property on 123 Main Street. Step number three, assume the negative. What is the negative in the situation? Well, the negative is whatever you don't want, right? So if you want them to sell their property, you assume that they don't want to sell their property. It's a little confusing, but for the sake of real estate, just assume that they don't want to sell their property. So in this situation, hey, I'm assuming that you don't want to sell your property at 123 Main Street. And then they're either going to agree with you or correct you if you're wrong. Why don't you want to ask the question, hey, do you want to sell your property? Because they get asked that question a billion times a day and they're tired and sick of it, right? What was the issue to begin with? They get tons of phone calls about this property. They're tired of dealing with it. Tired of dealing with these phone calls. Holy cow, it sounds like you get a ton of phone calls. Yes, I get a ton of phone calls. I get one almost every single day. Holy cow, I'm so sorry for being your call today. Boom, right into your assumption. I assume that you don't wanna sell your property. Yeah, I don't wanna sell my property, but you know what? I do have this other property I might be interested in selling. Okay, well, I would love to talk to you about it. What can you tell me about that property? And then you go through the pre-qualifying questions on that property, right? So overcoming anger. Let's summarize this and wrap this video up. What you need to do is acknowledge the issue. You need to identify what the problem is. Holy cow, who are you? What, what are you calling about? Sounds like you get a lot of calls. Acknowledge. And what that's going to do is going to open them up. They're going to say something about the issue. Yes, I get tons of calls. It's super annoying and I'm tired of dealing with it. Step number two, take extreme ownership. Don't ever fight anybody. 
No, I know I've never called you before. Like, no, that's not gonna get anywhere. Take extreme ownership. Oh, I'm so sorry to add to that problem. Let them know that, hey, I'm here, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to add to the problem. And then make the assumption to figure out what you want, right? In, in our case, the assumption is gonna be, I assume that you don't want to sell your property anymore. And they're gonna correct you or agree with you. Yes, I don't wanna sell my property. Or no, I do wanna sell my property. I'm just tired of these phone calls. How can I make them stop? Well, if you sold the property, you might be able to make it stop. Let's see if we can buy it. And then go into the pre-qualifying questions and continue with the script. But if you ever have someone angry and disgruntled, the worst thing you wanna do is argue with them. You want to be on their side. I get a thousand phone calls a day. I'm tired of you all calling me. Don't, don't, don't correct them. Oh no, we are not calling you. That's somebody else. They don't care. They, they're just getting phone calls from a bunch of random people they don't know. To them, it's all the same person. So you can just go along with them. Hey, I'm tired of getting phone calls from you all. It's driving me crazy. Oh, I totally get it. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to add to it. I can take you off our list as soon as possible. I'm assuming you don't want to sell your property at 123 Main Street, right? Just make that assumption before you hang up and jump right into it after you take your extreme ownership and you'll get answers and you'll turn that angry conversation that's gonna get nowhere into a productive one that's either gonna lead in a yes or a no. Thanks for watching, have a great day, bye.